So, hello again, and I wanted to cover something that everyone asks me, maybe not everyone, but a lot of people ask me, what about putting some kind of nut product in the vending machines? You've got pecans, you've got uh, almonds, you've got pistachios, you've got peanuts, and they ask me, do I put these items in my vending machine? And I used to. And they make a lot of money. They really do. The, 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 the demand for these type of items is very high. But it does come with a drawback. And let me explain that drawback. As I said, peanuts and walnuts, not walnuts, but cashews and uh, pecans and almonds, they're the right size, you know, like they're the size of peanut M&M's and they really do well in these vending machines. They slide well, they slide down and all that. And um, it's, it's, a, it's an item that people want. It really is. It's, a, it's an item that customers want. And the only reason I don't put these in my machines is because every once in a while you'll come to a location and there will be moths in the vending machine. This is what one of them looks like right here and I don't know how they get in the machine but apparently they do get in the machine and it's my theory that the moths are laying eggs on the nuts on the peanuts on the almonds or whatever and I do believe that they're so small that you can't see the eggs and then eventually over time as the nut is sitting in the machine and the eggs hatch now that's not too bad so far. I mean, if you saw a little moth flying around and it landed on your food, you'd shoo it away and it wouldn't probably bother you. Um, but the problem is, once the eggs hatch, they look like maggots. And if you have a bunch of those crawling around inside your machine, it looks disgusting. And maggots are associated with dead animals and things like that. So when people see these little crawly maggots crawling around inside your machine they're relating that to a rotting corpse and so they're very disgusted by it another thing that these animals or these bugs do is they uh, they create a spider web type of material and I've actually seen it even on the outside of the machine and I'm kinda curious how it actually gets out out on the outside of the machine and then they're flying around and they're mating and they're having more babies. And the thing they love is the nut products. And sometimes you'll even see them in the peanut M&Ms. So you really want to be careful and keep your eye open for these moths. They're called flower moths. And the thing is, when I've come to locations, and here's why I don't want to put them in my machine. That's gross enough as it is. But I'll come to a location and I'll, I'll be servicing the machine and I will um, have the person that works there or owns the location, they'll tell me there's bugs in your machine, there's moths, there's maggots or whatever, uh, can you deal with it? And I'm like, okay. And so I tell them, let me take this home, let me clean it, let me sterilize it, and I'll bring it back. And a lot of times they'll tell me, no, don't bring it back. So it's bad enough that you have bugs, it's bad enough they look gross, and they look like maggots and people associate that with rotting meat and animals and so on and so forth but the worst part is you lose locations now I've never tested this but I've heard there's a remedy to the problem what I've heard and I've never tested it is you put the nut products into a freezer and you freeze the nuts for 24 hours and if there is any eggs on the nuts um, they will be destroyed by the cold and by the freezing. I've never done this, but it is worth a try. If somebody uh, does this, if someone experiments with this idea, uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'd love to hear from those people. Uh, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up, and when I say us, it means me. Give me a thumbs up. I love the feedback, guys. Thank you very much, and um, ladies. I know there's a lot of ladies out there doing this business. I think it's about three or four percent of the ladies that are doing this business. And um, please hit that subscribe button and I will catch you on another video.